take some that are loose here or something which i found today they are from comic school between what was it so 2013 and 15 so this is 2013 this is traditional art with ink on cardboard i think it is cardboard and i drew this with um steel nib i think it is steel nib so this was practicing to draw here is from a lesson where we were supposed to learn about dramatic lighting so here we have my original character totenkopf who i haven't been drawing for years he was quite popular in school among my friends but this was a fun exercise to just play around with lights a little bit all of this are traditional i think we will only see no there are one folder with a little bit of digital uh, but yeah totem cop and here we have a drawing when i was playing around a little bit can you guys guess what that is? The color I was using for this one. Can you guess? It's a little brown. It's maybe hard to guess. But I was actually playing around with the cocoa. Yep, cocoa. <laughs> cocoa and water. That created this. And it's quite uh, soft when you feel on it. But it took, it took a really long while for it to dry. But it almost feels like um, uh, a little bit velvety. But I just did it, this because I wanted to test it. And see if it uh, would last. And it doesn't. Nope. Uh, you can scratch it out so by all means guys play around with the watercolor paper and the co uh, cocoa and water and you will get this it's really fun just to play around and here we have uh, what's the word what's what's their name in English uh, black no not blackbird that is the black one I know that I know the name, I just can't say it right now. Uh, <laughs> Red Galleon, did you ever make any Black Stallion Waterfall fan art? No, I don't think I ever did that. Uh, not what I can recall anyway. <laughs> Magpie! Magpie, there we have it. So this is watercolor and I did this in 2013 and this painting here is very interesting because we were only allowed to use three colors I think and I think it was yellow blue and yellow blue I do not remember which colors it was, but we were only allowed to use three and we had to blend our way to find the color that we needed while we were drawing a bird. So I drew this one. It's a shame I didn't write it down which colors we had to use, but yellow, that is for sure, possibly blue, yellow and blue and that creates green then I am not sure about about the rest of the colors because I'm sure that we weren't allowed black anyways so this is a watercolor 2013 I really like it I still like it today it's a shame I had these not these I had this 
so close to the actual drawing otherwise I would possibly hang this on the wall or something because I really like this one but sadly I did my color tests too close to the actual drawing okay so what should we take next to pull this one out because this one is big there we have it and it's so full of drawings as you can see possibly that it is rising a little bit this is gonna be interesting a little string behind it also this is gonna be tricky to flip through but we will see what I can manage. Right. I'm gonna just borrow the microphone stand a little bit to keep that one down. <sighs> These, are <laughs> These are things that have been up on my art wall. But I took it down a couple of months ago because I felt like I needed to grow up and have a plain wall. This drawing is a drawing I got from someone who was it? Nailerith on DA. I had uh, told on Divinart that I would be uh, attending a book co uh, comment, and she went there to meet me. I didn't know this, and each time she came to the stand where I was supposed to be, I wasn't there. So after a while she drew this drawing and gave it to my classmates and um, they later gave this to me. And it was quite funny because when I was at the book stand she wasn't there and when she was there I wasn't there. So I have saved this one because I thought it was funny. So yeah, need to move things a little bit here. Here are some things drawings some tickets that's digital art printed on a piece of paper here we have one of the sketches from Vera and Buster the first book digital drawn that is also digital there will be a little bit of di digital here Ooh. and they are taped together so I can't show them all you have already seen that one back there. There are some things there. Here we have traditional art. 2011. It's really interesting to see these again. Oh, that is, that is also from, I think it is 2011 also. Around that time. I really like this one. damaged there from um, my poor handling from uh, let's see just making sure I'm following in the chat on digital art here this is you're gonna see later because the lines for this one is traditional and those lines are somewhere over there in the pile so you will see this one later when it is uh, uncolored. Also some. <laughs> and here we have uh, artwork from uh, Mendo, Mendo Art, who sent this to me. Wish me a Merry Christmas. Still has it. Some tiny Pegasuses. Flying horses. Cuties. Uh, some small drawings. You will see these later in their traditional form. Here are a artwork from Amori on DeviantArt, a commission I made, uh, a commission I uh, ordered from her years ago, 2011. I think she still has the traditional art from this one. Digital, just a little poem, I think, or quote. Oh, I don't suffer from insanity. I enjoy every minute of it. <laughs> we have some drawings. Yep. 
digital art. Here we have a uh, fan art from Calesta, I think it was. Alicia the Young, which I got from her. Here we have a um, girl and a guy. I almost think that is the uh, beginning of uh, Mr. Alfred or Uncle Alfred. He reminds me of Uncle Alfred. So I think that is the beginning. Look at that. Here we have some art which I liked. It is Alicia. No. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you guys know it. I just printed it out because I really like the light. Uh, you can never have too many horses, only too few hands. Quote from me. <laughs> Here we have more printed art. This is made by Abos007 on DeviantArt. That one is traditional art which you will see later in stream, hopefully. Because this one is printed. Some dolphins printed. Lots of printed things here. Okay. Commission. Back then. Here we have K on a watercolor. Back in 2012, that was a while ago, I drew this one. More, f uh, not, well, f fan art or it was a prize. This was from CL on DA. She drew a C1 Legend. I really like this one. It's pretty. Uh, reality is wrong, dreams are for real. I had lots of quotes up on my wall when I had it. Here we have Saga and v v v Vincent? No? I do not remember. This was such a long time ago. Vin no? Ah, I don't I don't remember. Uh, some sketches there. Digital. Here we have K and CL. Traditional art, it's damaged, damaged quite heavily. There are scratches here, I see. And some fat, fat spots. <laughs> I don't even know. This one was a while ago. It was in the beginning of their love story, basically. And there we have this one. And then we have Devi. I guess, like you can see, like you can see, as you can see, I'm not so uh, protective of these ones because they are digital made. So, I'm not so protective of them. Fan art from Abos 007 of K years ago. Here we have just a little note to myself. Horse. Nasibio, note to myself. And here we have Loki. Is it madness? Is it? Is it? That was back then when I was a real huge fan of Loki. I'm still a fan today, but back then I was an even bigger fan. Okay. Saga. This is a, a traditional piece, not this one. I don't think so. Is it? No, it, this is printed, but there is a print. This is a traditional piece from the pile, but this is a print. So basically, yeah. A little, um, what's the word? Uh, a little card. And here is Mackenzie. I think it is Mackenzie. It's watercolor and some ink. I'm pretty sure that it is. Back in 2012. So, yeah. I really liked how much hair she has. Some drawings. Humor is reason gone mad. <laughs> I really like this one. Orcas. Not, uh, not drawn, it's just a card. 
art from a noble stallion or a Pujingi today. Devil West Prada Digital Art of CL, which I made years and years ago, 2011. Wow, 2011. I think I drew, I drew human humans much better back then when I look at this one. Wow. I'm impressed by watching this because I'm sure that I can't be able to pull it off today. I'm absolutely sure. <laughs> Here we have a traditional piece. This is really damaged because it has been up on the wall. And I know that I spent a lot of time on this one. Uh, drawing of K. Uh, Jos. No. Madeline, I think that is. And that is uh, Damien. Coda, Saga, Josephine, uh, Shiro, and Danny. I know that I worked a lot on this one and was really pleased when it was done and even today I look at it and I'm still quite pleased with it. I think it's a beautiful scene between friends. And here we have a character sheet for Uncle Alfred. This was one of the first drawings I drew of him just to test out his um, facial expressions and for those who doesn't know he is basically um, uh, if you know Groucho Marx I wanted a character like him so Uncle Alfred he uses a lot of quotes from Groucho Marx so that is really funny these are my principles and if you don't like them, well, I have others, basically. If you heard, if you heard this story before, don't stop me because I'd like to hear it again. You gross. Um, if you are found, you are lost. Are you are you crazy? How can uh, I be lost if I am found? Huh. Next time I see you, remind me not to talk to you. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> But this was the first drawing of Uncle Afric, basically. So that is a little bit fun to see that one again. Annabelle and William, here are some photos I took some years ago. This was supposed to be my uh, uh, business cards, but didn't end up being that. Uh, art is a kind of illness. Possibly. <laughs> Art is the only way to run away without leaving home. That one is true. That is that truth. The logo of uh, Rosendahl Stables, which I made years and years ago. Ariel. We have some drawings. Case eyes. This is a traditional piece which will be uh, shown in the sketchbooks later because it's print. <laughs> Fan art. <laughs> and we have more digital art of Mackenzie back in the days. And there we have a drawing, a little dark drawing. Back in the days, I have a lot of hair in here. Uh, Kodan Saga, back in the days, also. Mackenzie's reference sheet. Here we have Mackenzie. This is traditional with ink. Back in 2012. Kilikum, the drawing of Kilikum, who sadly passed away a couple of months ago. This 
one, not, not many know about this one, but I will return to this one when I get the traditional piece, because that is a print. Here are some other prints. Alright. Damon and Elena, 2011, digital piece. There are so much down here. No, 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 I am not insulting you. I'm dis... Oh, I'm describing you, BBC Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> Back in the days. Christmas card. Hot Toto. And uh, do, do, do the names. <laughs> Wolfsburg, the horse is <laughs> Wolfsburg. Yeah, it was a while since we saw Coda and Saga. Here are another drawing of them. Saga, early drawing, 2012. <laughs> I'm not so keen on preserving my sketches nicely, as you can see. <laughs> and here we have this one. Digital piece, that one also. Oof, lots of little sketches printed. Uh, remember, you're only you're only young once, but you can't be immature forever. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all art require, requires courage. I had a thing for having quotes up on my wall to inspire me. Josephine. Annabelle. Uh, microphone Randy. I think it is. Art is an adventure that never seems to end. Here we have Mackenzie. <laughs> oh. K and CL. This was basically a parody I made of these two because they would never be like this in in my world. But I wanted to just make a parody, so yeah. I think it is up on DA, I'm not sure. I haven't been back in my archives that far, or back in my gallery. But yeah, that is, <laughs> that is very interesting to see that one again. I had forgotten about that one. Here is a digital piece, I think it is. <laughs> Mackenzie doing a silly face back in 2012 this one is pretty uh, safe in its little plastic holder a collection of little drawings more digital pieces I don't want to rip too much Madeline <laughs> fan art from Mendo Kusei of Kay and Sam when they had been playing with colors of some sort some tickets and a little thing from a newspaper here are some things for the car I think a boarding pass when I have been I'm, I, I, I collected a lot on the wall that is all I can say. Fan art from um, uh, Abos007. He drew a Dementor for me. And possibly, if you can see, it sparkles a little bit. There are tiny flakes of sparkles. So he drew a Dementor for me back in when it now was. I think it was somewhere 2012 or something. And, okay, this is not me. This is from school. Of, uh, from a comic page of Bamse. Huge comic 
in Sweden. Here we have a traditional drawing. Some, yeah, this is ink with uh, a steel nib. Practicing the art style, apparently. Here are from school. Not sure if I will be able to go through all of this. This is the character sheet for Sia. Is it traditional? Yes, it is, because I can see the blue uh, sketches. So this is uh, drawn straight on here. This was the character sheet for CL. Very interesting to see. We were practicing uh, drawing character sheets back then. How to do it properly. Here we have more ink. This is drawn with a pen, mm, uh, not a pencil, a brush. Playing around, apparently. Not so pretty. <laughs> Here we have another one. This is also steel nib. Nice. Nothing fancy. Just some sketches. And here we had back in comic school when I was assigned to draw, to uh, introduce myself, I drew this one. Yeah, it was basically an introduction of my daily life, what to draw. And it all ended up with Uncle Alfred in the final panel just saying, Hello, sugar pie. And I just gulped. <laughs> so that one is quite funny. Ooh! Pause gym, something for comic artists. This is just tips how to not break down as an artist. Here are some facial expressions. We had to practice those two. So I did it with horses in comic school. This is flirty, annoyed, um, suspicious, not suspicious really, but um, thoughtful. No, not thoughtful. Uh, content. Um, nervous, possibly, disgust, anxious, happy, and crazy. <laughs> this one down here. I really like that one, the crazy one. They are, they are a little bit funny to watch. And here are some things I have not been drawing. These are my schoolmates who has made all these. A little bit of mood here, apparently. Yeah. Just some practicing back then. Here we practiced uh, the head in different positions. Which was also quite interesting. Here I did one with K. It was much harder with a human, for me at least, compared to a horse. A horse was much easier. I am much... Yeah, right. Yeah, I do remember this exercise. We had shapes up here, which we had to transfer downwards. Or how it now was. I think it was something like that. So we had to um, try different uh, uh, face shapes facial shapes so I did these ones just testing it out playing around a little bit There's so many drawings down here we here have one this is a drawing for one of the curious Anna series which are later I, think. I am not sure if I ever used this one but yeah we have one and here we have the base for the uh, curious Anna series 
<laughs> and here comes the rest for the Curious Anna. This is the thoroughbred. <laughs> I, remember, I remember that it was really fun to just sit at the desk in school and just draw, draw these horses. It was really fun. Here we have the standard bread. The riding horse. I really like these sketches. I really, really like them. Here we have the fjord with its eel in between its ear and down its back. <laughs> it's cute. Here we have the Shetland pony, a little girl trying to pull it away from the grass, but the grass is much more tastier than following a little girl or the little girl. This is the Arabian. Let's check out the chat. Okay. So this is the Arabian. It has a little bit too he big head, but on the other hand, this is basically um comic style so it doesn't bother me too much this one I really like is the Ardenne of course I really really like this one it's so cute and there we have the Frisian many of these never were never um, was never used in the comic because I didn't manage to make the complete comic. Trying to figure out where to. Okay, there's the first thing. Of, okay, okay. Uh, here we just have some. Yeah, this is planning for Curious Anna. How I wanted the panels to look like. Yeah, Arabians can be a little bit tricky. I think this drawing was for the uh, Hanoverian, I think. Sport horses standing in their stalls on trying to eat some grass. These are traditionally drawn. I can see that I drew, uh, I made an error here, so I filled in here with some white uh, color. To hide my mistake for the um, scanning process. Oh, and here is the Icelandic horse. He's so cute. I remember that it was so much work to draw all the hair to make it look really fuzzy. But I really, really like that one. Really like it really really like it. this was an assignment for school we were supposed to take a song and try to tell a story um, through how many is it 16 panels no 20 panels and I choose to draw which song was it now it's Dolly Parton with uh, what's her name? Josie's Afraid of the Dark, I think. So just a little story from that one. Yeah, this is... Um, I don't really remember what the purpose of this was. But it says here, save me and stop the... Um, uh, the pouching and I decided to draw an elephant with its trunk you say trunk, right? Uh, tied up like the pistol the one that is a symbol for end the war so that is that 
little bit story there. This comic makes me angry every time I see it because this was a, an assignment in school to draw twin. Ooh. Thank you, Barrel Roll of Five, for the hosting. I really appreciate it. Uh, I really hate this comic because this was an assignment for school. We were supposed to be drawing the 24 hour comic thingy which is annual each year the same day and we were forced <laughs> to sit for 24 hours and draw one panel an hour to be able to manage to draw 24 pa uh, pages in 24 hours and this was shit everything went so well but I hate this comic I really really hate it because I I was not <laughs> up for it and I simply saved it all because I miscalculated every time because I got more tired and tired and mathematic isn't my great thing and so even so less when I am extremely overtired so I I I simply forgot how to calculate so that is why these pages are all black because I I thought I had uh, drawn all the pages but I was missing four so I just filled these ones in and it's it's yeah I uh, it's a pillow having a rock concert the pillows or something singing rockabye baby uh, and playing the drums and the guitar it's just uh, yeah, yeah. I can't even say anything about this. Uh, I hate this comic so much. I hate it. Uh, I really, really hate this one. <laughs> the comic with you never know with pillows so that is that one and I hate that comic so extremely much today I ugh. it just gives me so much anxiety here is the original drawing that was a print this these are the original drawings but they basically look the same it's so awful to look at it. I can't. I, <laughs> I can't. I do not remember when I drew this one. If. Yeah. It must be. Yeah, I think it is. I drew this one. It must be. It must be me. But I don't remember when it was. Here we have traditional art. Horse. I know that I was very, even to the, this day, I'm quite okay with the details on the face, but as soon as I reach the neck and big yeah, um, parts of a body, I can't do details anymore. And that is a huge problem for me. But I really like this one. I still like it today, and this was 2008. So, but it's really interesting to see them again. Here we had uh, 2007. I know that I was really proud of this one when I drew this back in 2007. Really, really, really proud. We have some sketches <laughs> of different horses. Uh, one gymnastic horse there, with some others. There also. Ooh, black paper. Horse on a black paper. And that was all. This shouldn't be here. This should be among my paper things. Yeah. We'll fix that later. This is. Oh, I had forgotten about this one. This was one of my first comics. 
Mikan and Doris. Let's go and a kangaroo. This was uh, in the beginning when I first started draw digitally. This was 2006. Oof, such a long time since then. We have a girl, some sort, and a horse made with water color pencils, not wet, just dry. And here we have Kay. This one is uh, with water on the watercolor because it is a little bit smudged. Oof, here comes the fan art. Uh, Sherlock Holmes back in 2012. I do not think that this looks like Sherlock Holmes But if we remove the head then yeah, it's okay Like the violin, but the face Nope, not so much. It's not great at all But the violin, I like the violin Just some eyes And another eye watercolor and some ink 2010 I think it's good that uh, I'm showing them a little bit at a random between the years 2012 2012 2012 this one's gone this was a fan art of um, Elena no not yeah Elena or was it Catherine in the Vampire Diaries? It's one of them. I'm not sure who. Just a head there. Oh, Stefan. It was supposed to be Stefan in the Vampire Diaries. And I'm sure that, yeah. So this is apparently the sketch. Did I draw? Did I ever... I can't remember. I think I made a digital version of this one. I'm not sure. I can't remember. I know that I don't have it traditional. Here we have this one and it was uh, poorly sketched. I don't like Damon's head. I later changed it in Photoshop and fixed it. Some silly sketches. Not good. Really awful to look at these quick sketches now. This must have been way back. I know that this, I was quite pleased with this one when I drew this. This must be 2004 or something. No, it must be older. It must be older. I know that I was proud back then. Here we have fan art of Ariel in The Little Mermaid. Quite pretty. Another fan art of Ariel. And here we have a pastel drawing. Of buckskin. So we have to be a little bit careful here. Mm, I'm sure that I was very pleased back in the days when I drew this one. But I am not sure about the year because I haven't signed it or anything. So I can say. Here we have another pastel drawing. 2011. <laughs> yeah! Darren, Swedish uh, artist, or not artist, singer. And I was a huge fan back in 2000, and let's see, 2004 to 2008, I think. Actually, when I'm look, when I am looking at this today, I'm quite surprised how well I did on this one. But you can also see, I don't know if you can see, but I can see. I see a grid system here. So I was using a very, very fine grid system. The grid system was just about as big as my fingernail. So 
so it was very very little a very small grid system but that was very fun to see that one again and here we have Jessica Alba I think 2006 also used with a grid system a very very small I'm sure that the camera can't pick it up but I see the grid system Ooh, and that that hand it gives me the creeps even today I know that it did back then also here we have more fan art of Darren this is graphite with pastel in the background it's really interesting to see these today I haven't seen these in years I promise you guys and I have something I had a thing also for uh, high thresholds, is that the correct word to say it? So, um, yeah, I can't really say anything about that one. Um, right, I got these uh, at a convent from some uh, girls who wanted to give me a gift, so I got this one. Still has it. Here we have Rapunzel, traditional art, graphite, watercolor fan art from The Lion King. I've always liked that scene with the elephants and the birds, so of course I had to draw it at some point. I don't know the year or anything because I haven't written it down. Here we have one. Wow. We should. <laughs> it's very, very um, long, I have to say. I do think that I was very pleased when I drew this one. But it is really long. I know back then that I had a problem with my screen when I took references because uh, it was the wrong dimensions on the screen. So everything was elongated quite badly. Fan art of Darren. Yeah. And here is a reminder of my um, of my original characters from Eleftheria. This is Sideo. Because this was how I drew my line art in the beginning when I only had a mouse. Because I couldn't do line art with a mouse. So I do draw the, drew them traditionally and then scanned it in and colored so that was how I did it in the beginning here we just have something some notes horse graphite 2007 I have no idea what you are but I am guessing you are a poster yep <laughs> oh I can't believe I still have this oh dear a uh, fine girl Thank God, back in the days. I'm sure there are more. Yeah, there, there are more. I'm a little bit ashamed today. Oh, we have Orlando Bloom there. But I'm sure that, yeah, there, there, Darren. So now you know I had a thing for Darren when I was in my teens. Horse, graphite, and pastels. This is graphite. Straight up graphite. 2005. Now we are far back. 2004. <laughs> oh, it's so interesting to see this. Four. This was uh, Lena Fulbright inspired back in the days. Then we have some original drawings. I think this is when Aragon had, had its premiere and I was inspired to draw some dragons. Here is another dragon. It's really not the best. Another dragon. A dragon and a dragon rider. Yep. 
2007. Uh, the scales. Interesting. Really interesting. More Darren, of course. Even more Darren. <laughs> A little awkward today to see them. Sketch. Graphite pencil. 2007. More Darren. Okay, I was a fan. You get it. <laughs> We've all been fans at some point. Some orcas. Graphite pencil. And here we have this one. What they what their name now Hira? I'm not sure. I was very proud of this one when I drew this back in the days, 2007, uh, five. I'm not gonna lie there. Of course. Graphite pencil. Ink. Wow, I had forgotten about this one. This is not original. Um, this is a copy from one of Lena Philby's drawings. Well, I drew this one, but I had her her drawing as a reference. Same goes with this one. I also know that this is also a copy. And the time when I was into cars. Because I had such a time also when I was drawing cars like a maniac. Ships away. 2005. Wow. Grecian horse. Graphite pencil. Manga! <laughs> so interesting. Darren. 2006. Wow. I do not know who this is. But it is pastel and graphite pencil. I had a thing apparently for those. <laughs> a setting of cloud. chaos. Uh, basically, I think it was somewhere around there. And also back in those days, I was out with my friends, my older friends, who had cars. And they were street racers, so I had to draw cars, apparently. This is a drawing. I made when a very close friend to, my, uh, to uh, me died, so I drew this one. Very sad, I had forgotten about this drawing. Yeah, more Darren. I don't even know what, what have I been drawing with. I think it must be watercolor pencil without the water, because it looks very... Just a bit. I'm not sure what it is. Something in it. Something. Some drawing. A ugly drawing. Back in the days, more Darren. Had a thing. Some horses. 2004. This is charcoal. That I see. Whoop. <laughs> yeah, I also think uh, KMD that. We all had a little bit of a period with manga, time period. This was mine in my youth. These aren't even... I, I have nothing to say. I have nothing to say about these ones. I had a thing for black and white. Let's just say that. And this is gonna be filled with just black and white. I have no idea back then why I did this. Well, I know, because it was fun. That is why I did it. But today I am questioning uh, why I did it, and all of them are of Darren. I feel a little bit ashamed. This is a photo manip of some sort. That I don't know. Photo manips, Christina Aguilera and Gwen Stefani. I think it was from a class in school. We were supposed to play around with the draw uh, with the pictures. Here is a drawing from 2004. Thoroughbred and Jockey. Even 
anymore. I think that is Jude Law. This is a horse. Uh, let's keep track on the chat. Um, <laughs> well, thank you, Poison. <laughs> It's just funny to to look at all these black and white drawings. Oh right, it's supposed to be in that that way. There are so many of them. I mean seriously, I. I... So I apparently I drew Christina Aguilera, Darren, and Gwen Stefani in the same drawing. I'm sure it is because Darren, uh, his idols was Gwen Stefani and Christina Aguilera, so I think that is why I drew them. Where's Darren? I'm not sure if that is Christina Aguilera. Not sure. Darren's eyes. Darren playing uh, pool, I think it is. Darren in a car. And the tip of the iceberg, me kissing Darren, just because I wanted to draw it apparently. I feel awkward now. Here we have more manga. I'm starting to get tired of these ones, all the black and white. I think that is, yeah, it's supposed to be in that direction. I mean, why did I do these. It's so silly. Just some... Whoa. <laughs> 2004. That was a while ago. That is all I can say. That was a while ago. Oh! This was pastels. A very bad drawing. Very, 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 very bad. Oh, oh, okay, I know. <laughs> 2004, we have here. Oof. We are starting to reach the end of this folder. Thank Lord. Unicorn. Manga. 2005. Uh, David Beckham. I'm quite uh, sure that this is David Beckham. Ah, uh, yep. More cars. Hot. Yeah. Of course it was. More drawings. No idea who you are. You are daring. A, a creepy, creepy daring. Sketch. Oh, four. There. This is me. It's supposed to be me in my teens. Ay, so awkward. Another Darren picture. A little dragon there. And a dragon there. And a dragon there. This I have not drawn. This was bought from an artist. So I have not drawn this one, but it has apparently ended up in here, because I wanted to protect it or something. Um, let's see, more manga. Oof. Oh damn no! Oh, this gives me such a bad taste in my mouth. Eh, 2004. How did I think this was a good idea? I mean, let's see. A horse with uh, its eyes way too high, two small ears, and everything in between. Uh, here we have some comics. This was from, um, uh, did, 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 did. what's the word, I'm trying to 
figure out when I was about uh, 60, no, 15, no, not 15, 17, I think, I drew this one for, uh, for school. We had a project of sorts. And this was when I was really bad at digital art. But I wanted to draw it anyway. <laughs> This I haven't drawn. It was my friend who drew this one. With the cheek. Here we have mine. We have some zebras. Zebra who cutters itself. This is so painful to look at, but also quite uh, interesting. That was my school school year. So yeah, we have gone through this folder now. I I mean it's really strange because I haven't been this deep down in this folder in years. And this folder has really only been growing because I threw throw in things all the time just threw it in when I don't know where to place it it often ends up in this folder I'm trying to place it back neatly in a nice way um, keep it up with the chat a little bit uh, <laughs> it's strange that it didn't allow badass. <laughs> well, good evening, Chilisma. Welcome to the stream. We are currently going through uh, my old sketchbooks. And like I said earlier, I'm not sure if we will be able to go through them all. I'm sure that we won't. Because there is a lot of sketchbooks. And we have only gone through how many? Three. Yeah. Three or four is what we have been going through. So. Okay, time to close this one and leave this one to the past, basically. Seal it up good and tight. There it goes. 